I just felt like there needed to be some sort of anti-establishment movement, something that was really like in your face. Casey gave me a reference that was an old Corinne Day photograph. It's something between there, the prodigy, and authentic 70s punk boys from the King's Road. This has been like the first London Collections men where I've, I've been fully focused and attending loads of stuff and it's been, it's been really, really great. I think it's really exciting to see the clothes that are coming out of London. I didn't realise uh, how like, kind of nervous and excited I'd be and I am actually very nervous and excited so it's, uh, it's, it's great. I'm really into individuality and so from here I said it would be cool if we went down like the Warriors route. Everyone's got their own style. So we've done a couple of different looks. Most of them um, have got quite long hair. We've done braiding through the sides and then extended the plaits. British men are a funny bunch, you know. I think we, we all have our fashion, we all have our style. It's probably something to do with the heritage and the fact that we've got great new young designers. With grooming, it's, it's not just a thing that women can do and you, you, can, uh, you can look after yourself a little bit better now. It started off with a book by the photographer John Bullman. His um, photographs of beautiful, hard-working family men. It was really gritty, true and honest. There was a lot of kind of like working class, northern kind of kids. And the idea is that horrible mum puts your you know, head under a bowl and cuts around it. Well, London is the most creative city in the world. London is the home of menswear. This is a, a fantastic platform for creative commerce. You see people prepared to take much greater risks and that's why London is the best fashion city in the world at the moment. The inspiration really comes from sort of 1970s footballers who've been playing football all day and they've really been saturated in the, in the rain. Alan Tyne's collection, it's a mix on uh, materials and textures. So we get all that nice sort of broken, slicked look. It's all multicultural, so you can see that's reflected in all of the outfits. And actually the hair is about being really super shiny, super clean, super simple, hair down, effortless cheek.